Episode 26, Conspiracy Theories, A Joke So, have you heard about these conspiracy theories? It's amazing how some people can come up with the most ridiculous explanations for everything. I mean, apparently, the earth is flat, there are lizard people ruling the world, and aliens are hiding among us. I don't know about you, but I find these conspiracy theories hilarious. I mean, do people really believe this stuff? It's like they think the truth is too boring, so they have to spice things up with a good old-fashioned conspiracy. But here's the thing, if these conspiracy theories were true, wouldn't someone have leaked it by now? I mean, with all the technology and social media we have, it's almost impossible to keep a secret these days. And let's talk about the people who believe in these theories. They're like a whole different breed. They'll spend hours watching YouTube videos and reading obscure forums, trying to uncover the truth. Meanwhile, the rest of us are just trying to live our lives and pay our bills. I mean, I get it, life can be boring sometimes. But come on, guys, there are better ways to spice things up. Maybe take a cooking class or start a new hobby. Just please, stop trying to convince us that the moon landing was faked. In conclusion, conspiracy theories are like a bad joke. They might be entertaining for a minute, but eventually, you realize how ridiculous they are. So, let's all agree to stick to the facts and leave the conspiracy theories to the comedians. You know, those wacky ideas that some people believe in, despite a complete lack of evidence. It's almost like some people think that the more ridiculous the theory, the more likely it is to be true. I mean, have you heard some of these things? People think that the earth is flat, that the moon landing was faked, and that there's a secret government plot to control our minds through fluoride in the water. It's like they're watching too much X-Files and not enough reality TV. And it's not just the ideas themselves that are ridiculous. It's the way that conspiracy theorists talk about them. They'll say things like, you can't trust the mainstream media and the truth is out there. It's like they think they're living in a spy movie, and they're the only ones who know what's really going on. But here's the thing, folks. Conspiracy theories are not just harmless entertainment. They can actually be dangerous. People who believe in conspiracy theories can become paranoid and even violent. And when they spread their ideas online, they can create real-world consequences. Just look at the QAnon movement, which has led to acts of violence and even an attempted insurrection at the Capitol building. So, let's all agree to put the tinfoil hats away and stick to reality, shall we? Because the only thing more ridiculous than a conspiracy theory is someone who believes in it. So, conspiracy theories, huh? It's amazing how people can come up with the craziest things and convince themselves that they're true. I mean, have you heard about the one where the earth is flat? I'm sorry, what year is it? Didn't we settle that one in like the 3rd century BC? And don't even get me started on the lizard people. Apparently, there are people out there who believe that politicians and celebrities are actually shape-shifting reptiles in disguise. Really? I mean, if they were actually reptiles, wouldn't they have a much better PR strategy? They could just crawl up to a microphone and say, I'm sorry, I can't answer that question right now, I need to go lie on a rock in the sun. And then there's the moon landing conspiracy. Apparently, some people think that the moon landing was faked, and it was all just a Hollywood production. Let's be real, if Hollywood had produced the moon landing, it would have had a much bigger budget, and Neil Armstrong would have been played by Tom Cruise. But you know, I think the real conspiracy theory is that the people who believe in these theories are actually just trying to get out of paying their taxes. Oh, sorry IRS, I can't pay my taxes this year because the Illuminati is controlling my mind. Anyway, I'm just glad that we can all come together and agree on one thing, that the people who believe in these crazy conspiracy theories need to wear a tinfoil hat. Not because it will protect them from the government's mind control, but because it will keep the aliens from reading their thoughts. Thank you and good night. <laughs>